going to talk about AC and DC circuits, intro, um, what you need to get started. Um, first, you need the, you're going to need a multimeter. I have a Fluke, but there's many brands. They're all good. I'll show you that, where to get those. You need a, resi you need a bunch of resistors. I have a resistor kit here. This 700 resistors. I think I bought it for like 12 bucks. I'll put it in, in the description. You need some wire. You know, I found some scrap wire laying around. Um, if not, you could just buy a, a spool of it, 18 gauge, for like you know, 10 bucks or less. At pretty much anywhere. You know, or you got little pre-cut wires and strip for you. I think I found this on eBay for like five bucks. Of course, you'll need. Um, wire strippers, needle nose, and cutters. Now, this is the this is what I use for my digital circuits, but you could use this for um, your DC resistor circuits. And uh, when you take, when you go to school, whether it's engineering or a tech course, most of the times, the bulk of it's gonna be circuit involving resistors only for a while so i'll focus on that um this book here it's very easy to read it's seventh or eighth grade level there's simple math in it it's just algebra there's no trigonometry no calculus very very simple easy book to get if you want to get started into this um and this is the model number of this logic trainer um, I do have 5 volts 12 volts I can go um, DC or AC here square wave for DC sine wave for AC um, the books gonna have multiple problems with different power supplies 18 40 volts um, but to get the power supply that could do that it's very expensive so I'll show you that in a second so here we are so I'm at this site there's other websites that that um, sell all this stuff uh, so I typed in I typed in power supply and you can see the, the price ranges from hundreds of dollars to thousands of dollars all depends on all depends on you know what you want you know the more the more voltages the more money um, so this one's 600 bucks like I said there's a ton of them here and they're all pretty expensive there's nothing like this one here is only goes from 0 to 18 volts it's 200 bucks so that's all this is is the power supply it's really nothing else um, so, you know, if you're in school, they'll provide all this for you. Uh, I, that's why I would just stick to the um, that logic trainer because it's cheap. Let me show you over here on eBay. So, I'm on eBay here now. I typed in uh, the logic trainer PAD 234A. This is this is very common. So you get a brand new one for you know 200 bucks here. Um, but uh, I, I got mine used here on eBay. You can see here there's one for 70 plus 18 for shipping. And um, I say mine was under a hundred bucks. I bought it last year, so you can see these are pretty. This, these are pretty cheap. They're like a hundred bucks. You can buy a brand new one for two hundred. Um, so I would recommend that versus that versus these power supplies because they're very expensive. Um, now I typed in fluke meter because you get a, a lot of results. Um, so. If you're getting started here, this is probably your best bet right here. It's you know under 100 bucks and it's brand new. Um, this one, this is what you want. You need to do AC and DC volts right here, 
and this one is an amp meter it has this clamp this will measure amp so that's good and you need resistors so that that's this is probably the this is pretty standard pretty basic but that's all you'll need for now and it's you know it's under 90 bucks brand new so i would recommend using that the other brand names that are probably cheaper you can buy them used for a little bit cheaper um, fluke is standard like a lot of in industry i've been doing this for 25 years and i see pretty much everybody with a fluke meter all the hvac guys electricians um, they all, have, most of them have fluke meters there. They're pretty, pretty accurate and pretty reliable. I had mine, my fluke meter for like 15 plus years. It never went bad on me. So as long as you don't drop it or crush it, it it'll pretty much last forever unless you misuse it. But, um, so like I said, back to this site, like you're saying the power supplies are expensive, but you know, you can go here by type in resistor. Different model, you can type in resistor kit. Yeah, I type in resistor kit and I buy uh, this is what I bought here. I think I bought there's one for 700 pieces somewhere here. But um, yeah, you can see you get 300 resistors for like nine bucks. The resistors are super cheap, and that that's the bulk of the book when you get started with uh, tech course or engineering course. So I would recommend that. And uh, in later videos, I start showing you how to make these